Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into some of the most groundbreaking archaeological discoveries that have reshaped our understanding of history and ancient civilizations. From hidden chambers revealing the secrets of pharaohs to ancient artifacts, whispering tales of forgotten empires, join me as we journey through time. Our journey begins beneath the rolling hills of Surrey, England. Here, amidst the unassuming landscape, construction workers stumbled upon an extraordinary find, a hidden cave. Concealed for centuries, this subterranean chamber proved to be a medieval hermitage, a sanctuary for those seeking solace from the world. Within its cool, earth-bound embrace, archaeologists unearthed remnants of a long-forgotten past. Fire pits, blackened by countless nights, hint at the hermit's solitary existence. Could this unassuming cave hold secrets to pre-Christian pagan rituals, a link to Britain's ancient past? We travel now to the Valley of the Kings in Egypt, a place synonymous with ancient wonders. It was here in 1922 that archaeologist Howard Carter made a discovery that would captivate the world, the tomb of Tutankhamun. Sealed for over three millennia, the tomb lay undisturbed, a time capsule from a glorious past. The air, thick with anticipation, yielded to the archaeologist's careful hand, revealing a sight of unparalleled splendor. Golden treasures glittered under the light of the explorer's lamps. A solid gold sarcophagus, its surface adorned with intricate carvings, held the mummified remains of the young pharaoh. Tutankhamun's tomb wasn't merely a collection of riches, it was a window into a civilization's beliefs about the afterlife, its rituals, and its artistry. Our quest for archaeological wonders leads us now to Jerusalem, a city steeped in history and spirituality. Here, within the hallowed halls of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, lies what is believed to be the tomb of Jesus Christ. In 2016, a team of scientists was granted a rare opportunity to peer beneath the layers of time. For the first time in 500 years, the marble slab covering the burial bed was lifted, revealing a glimpse into the tomb's inner sanctum. While the authenticity of the tomb itself remains a subject of debate, the discoveries made within its confines offer tangible links to the past. A limestone shelf, believed to be the original burial bed, hints at the tomb's early origins. Our journey through time takes us back to Egypt, to the year 1799. Napoleon's soldiers, while fortifying a fort near the town of Rashid, or Rosetta, unearthed a seemingly ordinary slab of black basalt. Little did they know they had stumbled upon a key that would unlock the mysteries of an ancient language. The Rosetta Stone, as it came to be known, bore an inscription in three distinct scripts, ancient Greek, Demotic script, and Egyptian hieroglyphs. Using their knowledge of ancient Greek, linguists were able to decipher the corresponding passages in Demotic script and, most importantly, the long-lost hieroglyphs. The Rosetta Stone became a cornerstone in the study of ancient Egypt, allowing us to finally understand the writings of pharaohs. Our exploration of ancient Egypt reveals that even in death, there was time for games. Deep within the tombs of the pharaohs, archaeologists unearthed exquisitely crafted game boards, their surfaces adorned with intricate carvings. Known as Senate game boards, these ancient pastimes were more than just a form of entertainment. They held deep religious significance. The game, depicted in hieroglyphs on tomb walls, represented the journey of the soul through the underworld players, moving their pieces across the board, were symbolically guiding their souls towards the afterlife. The discovery of Senate game boards sheds light on the cultural importance of board games in ancient Egypt. Our quest for archaeological enigmas takes us across the Atlantic to Nova Scotia, Canada, where a discovery on Oak Island has ignited debate among historians and archaeologists alike. There, amidst the windswept shores and rugged terrain, lies a mystery that has captivated treasure hunters and scholars for centuries. At the heart of the enigma is a Roman sword, pulled from the depths of a murky swamp. 
Its presence in North America, a full millennium before the arrival of Columbus, has challenged our understanding of pre-Columbian transatlantic voyages. Skeptics argue that the sword, perhaps a lost artifact from a later period, found its way to Oak Island through more recent means. Yet the sword is not alone. We journey now to the depths of time, to a period when trilobites, those ancient marine arthropods, ruled the prehistoric seas. In the fossil beds of Morocco, a remarkable discovery has provided a glimpse into the social behavior of these long extinct creatures. A 480 million year old fossil reveals a line of trilobites, all facing the same direction, their bodies aligned with uncanny precision. This extraordinary find suggests that trilobites, far from being solitary creatures, may have engaged in collective behavior. Our exploration of the past takes an extraterrestrial turn as we examine a meteorite that fell to Earth in 1990 near the town of Tagish Lake, Canada. This celestial visitor, harboring secrets from the vastness of space, has provided tantalizing clues about the building blocks of life beyond our planet. Within the meteorite's fractured remains, scientists made an astonishing discovery, an extraterrestrial protein molecule. Named hemolethin, this protein, unlike any found on Earth, has ignited excitement among astrobiologists. Hemothlin's presence within the meteorite supports the theory of panspermia, the idea that life, or at least its essential components, could have originated in space. Our journey through time takes us to the shores of Bornholm Island in Denmark, where a remarkable collection of carved stones offers a glimpse into the ingenuity of Stone Age societies. These enigmatic artifacts, known as the Sunstones, date back over 5,000 years, predating even the Egyptian pyramids. The stones, crafted from flat pieces of rock, are adorned with intricate carvings that resemble sun-like patterns. Their precise purpose remains a mystery, but archaeologists believe they may have been used in rituals, perhaps to track the movements of the sun or to mark important dates in the solar calendar. Some scholars speculate that the sunstones may have also served as a primitive form of currency. Our exploration of the past takes us to Scotland, a land of rugged beauty and fierce independence. Here in the hallowed halls of Stirling Smith Art Gallery and Museum rests a weapon steeped in legend. The sword of William Wallace, the Scottish hero who defied English rule. The sword, measuring over five feet in length, is a formidable weapon, a testament to Wallace's strength and determination. Its authenticity has been the subject of much debate, with some historians believing it to be a later replica. However, recent analysis suggests that the sword's hilt may indeed date back to Wallace's time. If true, this artifact would represent a tangible link to one of Scotland's most iconic figures. Our journey through time takes us on a global adventure, tracing the ancient trade routes that connected distant civilizations. Intricately decorated ostrich eggs found in tombs across Africa, Europe and the Middle East date back over 3,000 years. They offer a glimpse into the cultural exchange of the ancient world. Painted with geometric patterns, animal motifs and human figures, they were symbols of status and prosperity. Their presence far from Africa suggests a vast trade network. Our final destination takes us to the heart of South Africa, to a remote and rugged landscape where ancient mysteries lie hidden beneath the vast African sky. In 2003, pilot Johann Heiner, flying over Mpumalanga, noticed a series of stone structures arranged in a circular pattern. This arrangement revealed an ancient calendar possibly the oldest man-made structure on Earth. Dubbed Adam's calendar, it predates Stonehenge by tens of thousands of years. The stones align with the sun and stars, suggesting advanced astronomy knowledge. Some researchers believe Adam's calendar may have also been a sacred site. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into our past. See you next time. From the depths of hidden caves to the vastness of space, 
Our journey through these mind-blowing archaeological discoveries has only just begun. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep marveling at the wonders of our shared past.